here's something you should pay attention to while inspecting a property located either at the bottom or at the top or located somewhere in between on a mountain or a hill like the one you're looking at here and that of course is erosion if the mountain is solid granite you're probably not going to have these problems but if it isn't it's a mountain like this one then you could end up with a spot like this and uh, you can see it right there there is uh, there's an area where there are no plants covering it this um, is a clear sign that sometime um, you know and again I don't want to say this is something that happened recently because we don't have plants growing back over over the area and covering it up so you can see it's been a nice fresh slide within the past let's just say six months um, but for sure within the past year because by now um, something at least a couple of weeds would have grown back on there um, but when you, when you see something like this it will tell you that um, the ground got saturated and a section of it slid down and of course that's exactly what happened here and of course this could be a problem for you as a homeowner um, living anywhere near this hill if you live at the bottom of the hill then you could deal with any part of the mountain that falls off of the mountain or slides down the mountain um, you got you got to worry about the possibility of these sections actually sliding into your backyard or actually into your home and there have been times when homes have been pushed right off of their foundations um, with a, a nice solid section of the mountain sliding off and again let's face it these are how mountains um, tall mountains get small you know they erode they sections of them break off and uh, if your home is located anywhere near the area this could be a problem and again it's just a concern it's something to think about you've got to think about problems like these before purchasing the property so again this could actually be the reason why they're selling the property in the first place maybe this is a concern of theirs it scared them it isn't the first time this happened so get as much information as you possibly can and don't just gather it from the real estate professional or the property owner hey it wouldn't hurt to go knock on a few doors and see if this is a concern to other neighbors um, in the area